Hi guys, this is Casual Kiwi and welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity. Uh, this episode, I'm wanting to crack into starting to get some of these solar panels. So, if you remember and watched last episode, we went ahead and we figured out a way using thermal expansion to go ahead and get some obsidian. So, I've gone ahead and I have placed out our door here, oh, through the doorway, placed a nether portal. So, I haven't gone and fired it up yet, but what we're going to do is we're going to quickly even though I haven't got much iron, we're going to quickly make some iron armor because no doubt I will get smoked in the nether. So we're going to quickly, like so, we're going to need a helmet, like so, we're going to need some pants, like so, and what are we after? Some boots, boom, like so. Okay, so that gives us that. We're going to leave the rest of our iron behind. And we shall, if we go out of there, throw all the stuff on. Nice. Okay, so we've got some armor. We have got a sword. We've got some bucket of water just in case. The other thing we'll probably need will be a few torches. So we'll grab 16 of those and a few torches as well. Like so. Oh, wrong way. Like that. Should give us a stack of torches. Nice. So we should be pretty well set there now I think to go ahead and head over to the nether. The other thing we need to make real quick so that we can actually get there is a flint and steel. That guy and then we should just be able to like so grab ourselves a flint and steel. Nice. Okay so we're gonna head over there we're gonna get ourselves some some nether quartz and then we can start looking to make some solar panels from, I think it was Solar Flux is the mod we're wanting to use. So we'll head to the nether and we'll see where this puts us. Hopefully in a decent spot. Here's hoping anyway, fingers crossed. And please don't crash my game. The last few things I've been playing, every time I head to the nether it seems to crash. Okay, so we've got some thorn lines which I don't think we want to run into too much. Plenty of bone, and we've got some nether quartz straight away. Nice. Please don't blow up or fall through the bottom of the world. Grab a bunch of this because it comes in very handy. Very, very handy. What's that nether silver? Hey, why not? Yep, go away near the pigman. I can hear you. So once we've got this, we're going to start looking to make the basic tier of solar panel, which I think it only generates, actually, I lied last episode, it only generates one redstone flux per tick. So we're going to get that. It's going to be sort of a supplementary power source to what we've already got. And we'll look at upgrading that. We'll see whether we can get done this episode upgrading it to the next tier. So I want to grab a fair old bit of this stuff and then something else I want to start working on is getting a smeltery from Tinker's Construct so that we can then get it start looking at getting some better tools. Now I actually want to put a nether rack as well. I apologize if it's a bit dark here I will throw a torch or two down like so and we'll grab some of this redstone because nether ores are fantastic. There we go, knew that was going to happen, I heard it. Sweet. Grab that guy. I hate those zombie pigmen. Freak me out. Right, what else have we got? What's this over here? Nether ferrous, why not? I don't know if that's going to explode. It is. God damn you, thorns. Get away. Need the iron. Nice. A few of these ores are going to really help us out because we're quite low on iron. That's going to explode too. If 
we can chuck a torch down. No, it blew it all up. Lovely. Got some nether lapis. Don't really need that. I suppose we could grab it for shits and giggles. She's gonna blow. She's gonna blow. Throw a few more torches down, stop things spawning. Grab the last of this. Oh, it's everywhere. It's good. It's good. How much we got? We've got almost a stack. We've got a few ores. I think we'll probably sitting pretty good we might bring a bit of cobble back next time so that we can go ahead and sort of block off or barricade ourselves in so that we're not too bad there's a bunch more we'll grab a bit more haven't seen any mobs yet which is a smidgen odd really not liking oh there's some pigmen Stone. <coughs> Ferris. <coughs> yep, you stay over there, Mr. Pigman. Yeah, the sulfur, we'll grab that. That could be handy for reds. For it. It's gonna blow! <coughs> Far out. Right. There's some dangerous stuff right here. Oh, we've got a bat. Got him, nice. There's a big old pool of lava down there. Okay, so I think we've got enough stuff. We'll head on back. And a crack into these solar panels. Boom, we're back. It's still daytime, nice. Grab some wheat, because why not? We might put some gates across that uh, near the portal as well, just to stop any pigmen and things wandering into our side. But now, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and we've got that. We can start some of these ores processing. So we should just be able to dump all that ores into here, like so. And that is not going to accept them. Is there a reason why the sag mill doesn't accept nether ores? Oh, well, that's been freaking fantastic, isn't it? You're joking me. I'm guessing not. Oh wow, that's lovely. Okay, we'll put them in there and we shall process them later. We'll have to set up another system to process nether ores. That's a real pain in the ass. A real pain in the ass. Okay, <clears throat> so for this guy, the base model of this, we need some iron, we need some photovoltaic cells, which is glass, lappies, and iron nuggets. Ooh, iron itself. Ooh, this is not good. We do not have a lot of iron. We have 15. Hmm. We're really going to have to crack into getting some of this stuff processed. We only got four nether iron. Hmm. Okay. Things are going to be a bit tight. Okay. Anyway. So those were lapis, glass, and iron. We can do this, surely. So we've got some lapis. We've got some iron on us. We need some standard glass. We can take that and our chisel. And if we get rid of that for now, our chisel. And we should be able to just go boom, boom. Gives us some normal glass. So we needed, how many do we need? We need three of those, which is, so we need nine glass. Like so. Like so. And like so, gives us three of those, like that, lovely, and then we need one of these guys which is a redstone block and an absolute butt ton of lead, so we need, oh that'll do, 11 of those, we need to make a redstone block, like so, boom, and then we needed a butt ton of lead, I don't know, oh, it's two different leads. Okay, we'll take that, and that's going to make a gear, and that. Now, we need four gears, so we need four pieces of iron. One, two, three, four. And then, if we do four, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like so, gives us four lead gears. 
And now we should be pretty close to being able to make that, like so, leadstone solar core. And then we should be able to go kaboom. But it's not going to let us. So we'll go boom, boom. What else did it need? Some, oh, uh, we need three iron. And we only have two. Okay, so if we grab one of those, chuck it in the grindstone. I don't know why that did that. And then that should process down. So it's a bit of a pain that that does not go in the sag mill. That is a real pain in the ass. But hey. Is, it, is that working? That doesn't appear to be working either, does it? Oh, it is. Four iron dust. Nice. So we should, by rights, be able to smelt this with any luck. Oh, Industrial craft too. Why can I not smelt that? You're joking. Maybe they have just broken. It's looking that way. It really is. I wonder if I can smelt anything in those. Chuck that in there. That's going to get us our iron to get this finished off anyway. What a pain. Um, what else goes in there? What can I smelt? Um, can I smelt a piece of wood into charcoal? Ah, it's an alloy only. Okay, so I bet we could have done it now. We'll just check real quick. Now we can. Okay. Sweet. So I was just being a dickhead. That's fine. But I don't know why this wasn't working. But anyway. Okay, smoky. So now we should be able to go boom, and that gives us a leadstone solar panel. Boom. We have one. Okay, fantastic. So what I'm wanting to do is basically I'm wanting to set these guys up on the roof of my base. So I've got this big area. If we head outside, I'm starting to lose my hunger. Big area up here with nothing on it. So I was going to set a farm up here, but I've sort of changed my mind and I'm thinking this is going to be my solar power generation area and then I'm going to run down probably through the wall down through here and use some conduit covers so that you can't see the cable and then come down here with a big solar array up on the roof to gain us a bunch of power that is the plan in the long run anyway team but for now what I'm thinking is I'm going to save this guy I'm going to run off the generators and what we're going to do is we're going to get a butt ton more of them so it's going to take a fair bit of effort and then we're going to need a bunch of invar but then this guy here is going to produce a whole eight redstone flux per tick. So these are freakishly expensive. Um, and then we want to move up to this guy. Ooh, it's very expensive. Far out. Maybe I don't want to do these. Wow. It is a goal, I suppose. It is a goal. Okay, what I might do guys is I might sneak away and I'm going to go and grab some more sand and some more clay and then we're going to look at getting together a smeltery so we can get some decent tools, I can go do a bit more mine and get some, some decent amounts of iron and things like that so that we can carry on and get some of these things made. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Hey there guys, I just wanted to show you whatever this creepy little ritual thing is going over here at this bloody aura thumbcraft thingy. Looks rather scary not sure if i'm gonna get slaughtered in a moment but it looks like they are like sucking the life out of some dudes over there so i think i'm gonna stay well clear but i want to head over to this desert and see if i can find a like a village or or whether i can uh, i'll leave leave a recording i'll see if i can sneak around these guys and not die because it's looking rather dodgy rather dodgy hmm Anyway, I just want to grab some of the sand. That's all I want, guys, is a little bit of sand. They haven't seen me. Okay, I'll see you back in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back again. Uh, I made it through that desert, and I came across these cinder pearls. Now, I've seen these before, and basically they're actually something really cool that instead of having to... Excuse me, instead of having to go to the nether, you can grab these guys, and then you just craft them in a crafting bench, and you get blaze powder, which is really freaking awesome. 
So that's just a handy little tip um, that if you want to grab them along the way. Now what I was working towards was getting some clay, like these guys, some gravel and a bit of sand. Now what I'm wanting to make is, 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 is grout from this guy here. So we should be able to make it like, why did that not work? Grout, because we don't have blocks, we only have that, but we can make some blocks, that is fine, like so. And then we can make like so, boom. So that gives us 56 grout. Now we've still got a butt ton of stuff left, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to smelt the stuff up, like so, and let that do its thing. And then once that's built, we're going to go ahead down here and we're going to build ourselves a tinker smeltery. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to knock out this piece of wall and we're going to add it in here with this guy. So I'm going to make it three high, or eventually I'll make it three high anyway, and I'll make it a three by three smeltery. Now the problem with that is just the fact that you have to have it so it will be one, two, three and then the wall will be here and then the other wall will be in here like so. So that guy there we shouldn't need but in there we will require it. And then we need to dig out the likes of this like so and get rid of that guy. So we should be able to just keep on digging these guys out a few blocks back and we might throw down just a bit of a torch here as well just to keep things a bit lighter. Go down a bit as well because I want to achieve having the um, the, I can't remember what they're called now, the drip trays, the, the bits where you collect all of your product once you've made it, down below ground level, at ground level here, so uh, they'll probably actually be in this area, not up above, or will they be up above? I'm not too sure. We'll see how we go when we build it. So knock these guys out. So then we want a one, two, three, like so, by It'll be one, two, three. So we need to go back one more, I think. Like so. Like so. Carve all these out. Now what I'm hoping to make, probably first off, oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but we probably could throw a bit more of that in there. Um, first off, it's probably a hammer so that we can do a bit more mining a bit faster because our mining at this stage is very, very slow. It makes some decent tools is what we're aiming for here. So that there like that. Now, I think that should fit our smeltery quite nicely. So we should be able to go ahead and we can throw those apples away and have dirt back down and jump up here. Ah, missed. Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing, team? So in here we should have a bunch of seared bricks. Now with these seared bricks, four by four, like so, only gives us seven, so we're gonna to need to make a bunch more, and that also gives you mighty smelting by through Magon. Okay, so we're gonna to need to make oh no, we've still got 20 smelting up, it's still doing its thing. We'll leave it at that for now. Arr, get down there. Like so. Now we're going to want to go three by three so we're going to want what are we going to want here we're going to want the base if i do that and then no i want it back here one two three two three we're going to need a butt ton more but basically like that and then along here will be the likes of our tank and things along the outside and it'll all be flush with this wall so it should all look quite nice jumped right over but we're gonna have to go ahead and wait for a butt ton more of the stuff to smelt up 15 gives us 17 still can't do a great deal with that we could make the likes of and here we need a smeltery drain we need at least one of those we need a smeltery controller like so and the other thing we need, once we have a few more bricks, we only have three, so we're gonna need 
Oh no, six white doors. Nine certainly will. We need a piece of glass, so this piece of quite clear glass will work for us. I'm not sure if it works like that or whether we need to change it into normal glass. No, nope, that's going to work. We need a smeltery tank. Now, have we got three more? We do. Another thing we're going to need is we are going to need a faucet, like so. And then that there is the majority of blocks you need to get your smeltery up and running once you have the actual smeltery built. So what we're going to need to do is place the likes of just some normal cobble down here, here, and here. And then we can add, I'm going to put, where are we going to put everything? I'm going to put our controller in the middle. We're going to put our tank on the left here and our drain on the right and then our faucet can click on there like so and that still gives us access down the side to carry on building this bad boy. So this works great. So now we can put our next block here and build our smeltery around like so once we've got these other two blocks down. And it's all going to fit in nicely and fill up this wall quite well. Awesome. And then we can have our casting bench down below in there and eventually we might look at moving our tank maybe up higher and putting another uh, smeltery drain on this side as well so that we can drain more things out and into a casting basin. Um, casting basin? I can't remember. The one that gives you blocks. I'm shocking with names at the moment guys. I'm having a bit of a mirror. Okay, so how's this guy going? We had block one, we only got two more, so we must be out of stuff. We are. We need to make some more grout. Okay, so we're going to need some more clay blocks, like so. Boom. And then grout there, like so. Boom. This gives us 40 more grout. That should keep us going for a while. Chuck that in, let it do its thing. Right, what else can we do while we're waiting for that to do its thing? Something else I wanted to show you, throw those away, is I went ahead and made some apple saplings just for something more for a bit more food. So all you do is you grab some standard saplings and some apples and I oh, will do not what I wanted to do. We'll grab a couple, we'll grab a couple of apples and then all you do is you throw those guys in there, you throw a couple of apples in there as well and it gives you apple saplings. So we're going to grab the rest of those, we've got six apple saplings, and we'll throw them down with our garden, hmm, where are we going to put them, we might put them out over here somewhere, nice little apple sapling, we'll throw one just about there, no that's right in front of our door, we don't want it there, we'll throw it there, and another one just there. Going to give us a few saplings and whatnot, a few apples I mean. That's going to merge with that. Really don't want them on our door. I'm just trying to get a, a reasonable sort of food supply fairly handy. So we want them somewhere where they can see the sun and grow, like so. That's got pretty well covered canopy. Throw another one there, that'll do for now. Let them do their thing. And all will be well with the world. Nice, and we need to eat something chronic, severely running low on food. Something I did want to check, does this mod pack have better chests? It does not, it has better barrels and blood magic, better than telekinesis, okay. So better chests is a handy little mod that is in the mod source pack from the AT launcher and you can use it to make farms, you can use it to make cobble generators, all sorts of good things. It's a really great little mod, um, but we don't have it, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Right, that gives us 24 more brick. We can go ahead and we can craft some of these guys up. Boom. Something we are going to need to do, which I could do while waiting on the rest of this to smelt up, is we are going to need am I doing here? That is wrong. That is in the wrong place. I was wondering what I was doing there. So we are going to have a bit of a gap in between, but that's okay. Um, we are going... Ah, 
we are going to need some lava, is what I was meaning to say. Okay, so we need that there, like so, and then like so, and we are out. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, so we're going to need a block there at least, which is going to be, what's it going to be? It is going to be that stone there, like so. And then we could actually go boom, 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 like so. And that is going to look lovely, beautiful. Okay, so we're going to need some lava. We'll quickly duck upstairs, we'll sleep, we'll run away, get some lava, and then we should, by rights, have our smeltery up and running. Now, I think there's some lava just across the way there, so that should be good. Either that or we, uh, we'll head down to our mine and I can quickly show you my mine. Um, have I got a bucket? I've got one bucket of water. Not that I really want the water. So we'll jump down here. This is my fast way down at the moment. And then our mine is just at the bottom here. Didn't want to dig all the way down through my mountain. My goal is to make a railcraft track heading sort of up here and around and up to my base. I'm, I've never played with railcraft before, so it's going to be quite a challenge. But hey, be a bit of fun. I can hear lava. I know there's lava around here somewhere, but I can't remember actually where it was. It's been a while since I've been mining, to be fair. We might grab our sword out. It's not looking like it's this way, team. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Um, I'm quite enjoying it. It's always fun to start fresh and see how things go, see where they take you. Oh, 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 look at that, some lava. Nice. We shall chuck that down there. Grr. And grab this boy. Okay, so we need to find where I'm actually meant to be going here. Because I'm not 100% sure. There, there's our stairs. There we go, and back up. And we'll pick up that water later on because it's going to be a bit... Oh, I suppose I could have just used a block and blocked it out, but hey. It's done now. It is done. Almost back up. And now I can show you my little path that I have to take every time I want to get up there. So much jumping. So much hunger disappears. So I've carved this into the side of the mountain and in these trees, and it is a bit of a pain. <laughs> this is why I want to get my railcraft up and running. I'm making all that creosote and whatnot so I can make some tires and make some rails and try and carve a track around the mountain so that we can get back up to our base. We're almost home, almost there, round the corner and boom we're back. So we want a bit of a train depot up here which would be quite cool. Shut our door. Now we should have a bunch of these bricks done. Not that many though, okay. It's going to be enough for us to get our smeltery up and running, methinks. 19 should give us a whole 4, which is not going to be enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, we need one more team, one freaking more. Okay. Oh, oh, come on, what's going on here? One freaking more. Is that grout? That is clay. We can make... We just need one more brick. One more. Um, grout. Like so. That's going to give us two. It's going to give us eight. We can do... No. Okay. 
Boom. No, what are we short of? We're short of gravel. Okay, 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 okay. We just need to break. Break a clay block. Boom, like so. We need some of these, some of these, and some of these. There's four more. Nice. And now we should be able to smelt these up. And this should get our smeltery finished, finally! Oh, it's been a battle, team. It has been a battle. And then we can throw some lava in it, we can smelt some stuff, and we can make some tools. I don't know how long we've been going for. This might be a bit of a drawn-out episode. If it is, I do apologise. Three. Last one. Gives us one more block. We've actually got seven. We only needed one. Oh, well. So be it. We can make another summer corolla another faucet which is of no use to us at all but that's okay okay so we can bang that there and now our controller has lit up like so and that means we can shove up to nine ores into the smeltery and do our thing we can throw some lava in there jolly jolly good and we can start making some stuff we still need to make a few more things so i'm going to have to make some more seared bricks and i might go ahead and do that off camera but basically what we need to make is we need to make if i go t-i-n-k-e-r-s r-s we need to make the likes of this guy here the casting table which isn't isn't too hard at all and we also need to make all of the tinkers wooden tables which we can go ahead and do we'll do that and then we might call it quits okay so we need some wood and stuff which we have on us that's fine we're going to need some blank patterns which is just i'm going to make a few more sticks like so and then boom like so boom like so and that gives you blank patterns and then one of them is just that and a blank pattern gives you the stencil table and then you need i think a log and a blank pattern gives you the part builder and then we need a chest like so and a blank pattern gives you the pattern chest and then the last one i can't freaking remember <laughs> tool station stencil table so stencil ta pattern chest stencil table part build we need the tool station that guy there that guy there which is a tinker's crafting bench and a tool station so that's not hard so it's four like so gives you a standard crafting table recraft that gives you a crafting station and then one of these guys gives you the tool station voila come to me then we can go downstairs and probably along this wall here we want to put these in a certain order though is the thing because with these guys if you put the parts chest I'm going to put right there and then beside that you want to put I think it's the stencil table and then when you access the stencil table no not that one it is not the stencil table it is it must be that guy yes and now you can access the patterns chest and put the patterns into here to make the bits all well and good and then these guys are of no consequence I think so basically you can make your stencils with your blank patterns these guys here make your stencils that is where you make your tool and then this guy here is how you build your parts nice so we can go ahead melt some stuff down do our things and make them but we're also going to need one of these guys here to make the better tools we're going to need a tool forge but that takes a butt ton of iron we could make it from tin can we make it from the likes of copper we can so we have a lot more copper and things than we do iron so we might look at doing that uh, i'll probably do that off camera for now guys because it's it's pretty straightforward it's just blocks of iron another one of those and some more seed bricks the cool thing about the this now is you can throw cobblestone in here and that is going to create more seared bricks and then you can make it as high as you want without having to get more clay sand and and everything else gravel all you need to do is throw cobble in it cooks it done deal make it into these sweet as okay guys thanks very much for watching and i will see you in the next one